Oh, there they go. Who's gonna win the race? I think we'll have enough footage now. <laughs> Wait, did you record that? Dude, it's been running for like the last 15 minutes. Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. Today, me and Kenzel here again. You may, may or may not remember him from a previous video. We're gonna be going out canoeing on the Rock River in Jefferson, and maybe do some fishing, and I don't know, see whatever is else is gonna happen along the way. Are you are you ready? Are you ready for this, Kenzo? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's go. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. I know, that's why I told you to take it slowly. Alright. Well, I'll just be careful. Just, just set it down. Because you'll see. Let go. I'll just do it. Let go. All right, baby. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is really shallow. Like, really shallow. Really? <laughs> yeah. Alright, do you, do you want to go by... Do you want to go by Goat Island? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, then take a left. A left. You mean we're going right? Yes. Oh yeah, so we're on the Rock River, like I said, well technically right now we're on the crawfish, which is a, um, a tributary to the rock, and the mouth of the crawfish where it meets up is, with the rock is going to be right. We'll be there in like a little bit. Alright, so here's, here's the mouth of the crawfish, right under the bridge here. And I don't know if you can see it or how well you can see it, but Goat Island's up here on our left. So, so Kenzo was asking earlier about some Rock River facts, which I have. Funnily enough, we're actually going upstream the crawfish right now, but um, yeah, so, so Kenzo was wondering about where the Rock River starts. So it starts in the Horicon Marsh in sort of central-ish Wisconsin which is a uh, Ramsar wetland convention site. It basically, it's an internationally important wetland and it's recognized in a treaty. Um, and so that flows down, well, by Horicon. That's sort of east, of, northeast of where we are. And then it flows west towards Watertown and down through Jefferson where the crawfish meets it, which is one of its tributaries. And it goes more south to Janesville, all the way through nor northern Illinois to meet up with the Mississippi. And actually, um, the famous the famous Indian Black Hawk, he was born, or well, he's from like I can't remember the name of the town, but he's from a town like at the mouth of the Rock River on the Mississippi. Um, I was trying to look up some more stuff about like the history, like the, why it's actually called the Rock River. Um, and I couldn't find why people said it in English, but in, in, in the language that Sauk and, of like the Sauk and Fox Indians, it basically means like, it, well, the, the original name, or this, yeah, the original, the non-English name, I guess. Is the Sinisippi, uh, and that, like a translation of that, I guess, is rocky waters. So I think, I think it was there's the Rock River apparently is one of the most dammed in the state, in Wisconsin, 
Um, so I think before the dams, there used to be, I don't know if the water level used to be lower or what, but it used to be much rockier, I guess. I think I was looking at some stuff. Couldn't find a, I found one thing on a blog, but I didn't really find much other than that in terms of where the actual name sort of comes from. Okay, now we need to go in the center. And yeah, and the rock is the second largest river that's in Wisconsin. I mean, you could say third if you consider the Mississippi to be in Wisconsin, but so it's the second longest that goes through the interior of the state. So, so Kenzo just pointed something out. I'll talk about it, I guess, quick here. I'll get a, I'll get a picture. So, no, slow down, slow down. Or, I was gonna get a picture and then you paddled too far. Um, so a lot of times when you're in a swamp or something, you might see trees that fall over or they have really shallow roots. And uh, there, maybe, I'll, maybe that'll be a decent piece. You can keep going. Um, and and so, so, so in wetland areas, uh, a lot of trees, trees that aren't really dedicated or aren't really always in wetlands like maples and stuff, they'll grow their roots shallow because they actually need oxygen for respiration in their roots. Just like the same respiration of, I mean, the same, the same metabolism that you and I have. Um, but so their roots will go shallow because they actually need oxygen, otherwise the roots will basically just die. And so a lot of times you'll see them with really shallow roots and then if it gets, uh, if erosion or something happens, the trees will just fall over because they're not anchored very well. Look at this. This might be clams. Cool. Dude, we're fine. I wanna I wanna look at one of these. Look at that. Dude, we're fine. Look at that. Some clams. So clams are freshwater generally. Oysters are not. And here's some empty clam shells. Maybe there was a raccoon. Had a feet. Oh, there's some tracks right here. Oh, those are bird tracks. I was gonna say maybe a raccoon was over here getting a nice little snack the other night. Look at. These are big clams too. Look at these, they're huge. That's cool. I was not expecting to see that. See? You don't need to plan everything out in the video. <laughs> I mean, that's like, oh, I like doing stuff outside, but cool. Yeah, those are goose, goose prints, looks like. All right, we can go. Don't get too close to it. We don't want to scare it away. Go a little bit to the left. You're good, you're good. Just keep going straight. Yeah, that's a muskrat, all right. Yeah. I am. Uh, he's still faster than us, so. Well, dude, I'm like touching the ground right now. Here, okay. Quick, quick, go to the left. Oh, oh, I told you. Get too close, you'll scare them away. Dude, they sit underwater. Can you see it? Oh, I see it, yeah, under the water, it's making a little trail. 
Oh, it's right there. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh. <laughs> He's terrified. <laughs> Kenzo, watch out, there's a tree in your face. <laughs> I thought I saw a little turtle, but I didn't. What? No, dude, this is like a platform to, for them to, it's like a fishing pier they built. That's probably for pulling up the fish. I bet. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, man, why not? That's the best. I had a friend who lived on the crawfish or, or on the, did he live on the crawfish? We'll see, I guess, I don't know. But we could literally just go fishing in his backyard. It was so much fun. All right. Nice and quiet. Yeah, it's a willow tree. We used to have a really big one like this in our yard, like a while, while ago. But it. Yeah, it used to be a willow like this, but it was. Yeah, but it was it 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 was dying, so he cut it down. Uh, let's give it a little cast, shall we? Yeah, man. Don't step on it. Nah, man. We, we need to get going back. How much battery do I have? Okay. Oh, look, Kenzo, there's a turtle right there. In front of us. On the log. Really? Is it that big? Yeah, go to, the, go to the left a little bit. I'm going to try and get a picture of it. Or a video or something. Yeah. We don't want to scare it away. Looks like we're coming up to the launch already. Man, I didn't realize we were back almost. Back, I didn't think, I thought we had to go around the corner. Let's see how this works. I've never done this before. Let's do it, man. Let's go as fast as possible. No, we don't, we don't need to go as fast as possible. We actually, we probably don't want to go as fast as possible. Yeah, but like, we don't need to, like, you can just step out, like, you don't need to go real crazy. Okay, you gotta step out and pull the canoe forward a little bit. Can you step out and pull the canoe forward? All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. Just, just leave it. Cause I'm getting out. Yeah. So no, I, I had a lot of fun canoeing today in the cro in the crawfish, not the rock, but whatever. Um, how was how was your canoeing experience today, Kenzo? It was great, man. That was, was great. Yeah, man. A lot of greenery and stuff. <laughs> a lot of geese, a lot of ducks. 
Yeah. We actually saw a lot of herons. We saw a lot of wildlife. We saw a lot, of, and the highway. Too. I didn't expect that, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know, I'm not used to seeing that just kind of that? stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, so we saw a lot of stuff today, which you just saw, presumably. Um, and so here's your poll question for the day. And so, just to be abundantly clear, you can, you can leave the comment below in this. What's your warrior? You got muskrat, goose, aquatic plant, or wetland plant we'll do wetland plant or uh last but not least the mighty turtle <laughs> so choose your warrior we'll see you in the next video